I say, uh, YouTube. Good morning, good morning. You're supposed to finish it. Good morning. Normally it is a good morning, but um, we got some uh, stuff to get into. First and foremost, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels, the godfather of essentially new age masculinity, the godfather of masculinity on a, from the YouTube standpoint. Um, love him or hate him, he definitely had a lot of uh, life lessons he taught that you could live by. And we're gonna send out a uh, rest in peace to him. And of, of course, the condolences to the family because uh, no matter how you slice the pie, man, this life thing is crazy. So rest in peace to that, man. Um, If it's your first time rocking with the boy, I'll be the K-I-N-G S-P-R Double three That be me King Spree And you locked in With one of the real estate Tell me Reporting live From Sin City Las Vegas, Nevada The weather about 77 degrees outside A couple clouds in the sky Nevertheless Praise to the most high And baby I know you've been Keeping an eye out You've been putting it On your reminder list It's on the calendar Alert for a day Ahead of time for that mixtape coming soon. Girl, I promise you gonna love it. So we said RIP to Kevin Samuels, man. So, nowadays, man, it's, it's, it's with social media, with different, with different Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and knuckleheads like myself talking a lot about nothing for the most part. Everybody got an opinion about something. And, you know, Kevin Samuel is definitely somebody that would get a lot of uh, critique thrown his way. And for good reason, you know, he was really putting the, he was really putting the spotlight on people, but women in particular that want certain things, but don't deserve those things based on who they are, based on what they represent, based on their attributes, based on the qualities they have. Um, for people like me, I, I try to be the realist. I try to be a realist in, in the sense of if you want something, like I don't wake up in the morning and say, "Damn, I wish I was LeBron James." It must be nice. I don't. I don't wake up like that. You know why? Because I know that number one, there's a clear cut reason why LeBron James is LeBron James. For everything from height, athleticism, talent, but then also. I don't. I didn't do no form of what LeBron James had to do to get to where he's at, and that goes with any person that is seen as somebody of success. Not just the celebrity world. You take the doctor. You take the successful lawyer, business owner. You take um, the mailman that that got his stuff together and got his money right and got his retirement set. I didn't put the thirty years in. My mom's retired. Shout out to her. I didn't put the thirty-three years in the um, post office to wonder why I don't have a pension. I never wonder why. I I understand exactly why I don't have something. And if I'm not willing to put the work, in, then I can't complain about anything else. So Kevin Samuels is one of those dudes that was putting the microscope on these, these women and men too, for the record, and saying, listen, you can't want six figures, top 1%, top 0.5% guy or girl and not be that yourself. Like, how does that sound? And a lot of women didn't like it. A lot of some men too, but a lot of people didn't like it because who really likes somebody telling them? Most most um, personal trainer client relationships in the beginning is rocky because who wants somebody telling you you don't do this, you need to do this. You, that, here's why your life sucks. Here's why you're fat. Here's why you do this. Who's, when I be dealing with my patients, I try to be. I walk on eggshells, but the second I bring up something that's real, they get upset. Of course. Because who wants to hear that? Nobody wants to hear that. So a lot of uh, women, uh, a lot of black women in particular, you know, seem to be uh, disheartened and discouraged and even upset at the things he would say. His viral video was the, you're an average at best. Why is that seen as disrespect or, 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 or shocking? What's wrong with being average? I'm a slightly below average dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
Why, what's wrong with being average? Why can't we just be realistic about where we are in, in, in the pecking order? So he got a lot of uh, slack for that. But let's, listen, let's not mistake it. He was a king, a young king, in my opinion. 56 is a young king. Um, I don't know the details on how he died. I, there was speculation that uh, he was uh, with a woman and literally died over her. I don't know what that really means. I, 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 I know what they're trying to imply, but we're not here to put any dirt on somebody's name. What we're going to say is rest in peace to a man that really bought a different perspective. Not a different, because a lot of men have this perspective. A lot of women have this perspective too. But he brought it to the forefront. Because a lot of people, we live in this generation where you can't tell a woman nothing. You can't tell her nothing without it being seen. You can't live in a world where you don't do what your counterpart does, man or woman. You cannot live in a world where you do not do what they do, you don't make the sacrifices they make, you don't have the education they have, you don't work as hard as they work, and then still want the same rewards. You can't. Now, if this doesn't apply to you, then it don't apply to you. Because there are a lot of women out there busting their ass. There are a lot of women out there that make more money than their sorry ass husband. There are a lot of uh, women out there that take care of the house. I saw a video the other day of a motherfucking couple. The woman had the goddamn book bag on her shoulder, the bottle in one hand, and the baby in the other hand, while the man walking scot-free. Not holding a goddamn thing. Y'all too used to dealing with these suckers. And when real ones come to y'all and tell y'all, listen, man, here's what I bring to the table. I need you to at least be able to do such and such X, Y, Z. Y'all get offended because y'all comparing us to those suckers. Y'all lay in bed with these motherfucking suckers and then look at us like we on the same caliber as them. So why the fuck are we questioning y'all? The hell the fuck are we not? And that's why I'm showing passion in this, in this video. And I'm not mad. I'm just really doing it for entertainment. But that's why I'm showing passion in this video because it's like, bruh, he's putting the microscope on y'all. Like, listen, there's certain things you can't do and you can't require if you are not that yourself. And that's it, man. That's what it boils down to. So all his videos, in my opinion, now go down as, well, they already, trust me, I already saved a bunch of classics. He got one video where he was like, things your dad should have taught you. Bruh, <laughs> study that one. YouTube that one, gentlemen. Kevin Samuels, things your dad should, lessons your dad should have taught you. YouTube that, gentlemen, because no disrespect to anybody's pops, mine's included, they wasn't teaching those lessons like that. They was giving us game, but not that kind of game. They was giving us game based on what they knew and sometimes not even that because we know in the urban household, a lot of men don't know how to communicate properly. That we were taught to be uh, stoic, silent. So we don't even communicate to our children. We don't even communicate to our counterparts, our peers, our wife. We don't even communicate actual words to them because that's how we were taught to be. That's how we were taught to be. But go ahead and YouTube, uh, YouTube that search for Kevin Samuels lessons your, your dad should have taught you. I promise you, it might ch change your life, but it's, it'll enlighten you on some things that you should have known. And maybe you didn't know. And it's okay to say you don't know, bro. We don't all know everything. But yeah, he put a, I keep saying microscope because he did. He put a microscope and a spotlight on things, on things that, that were, were said at a time and people were up in arms. And by people, I mean the people that, of course, don't fit the bill. The people that don't have those qualities, the people that don't have uh, success, people that are not happy in their lives, of course, those are the ones that are looking at you like, how dare you? How dare you? Think about it, gentlemen, think about the times you used to go to the club and there's like a little cute red bone or a cute dark skin girl or a cute white girl, whatever it might be. And you're trying to get at her, you're trying to talk to her, and she's feeling your vibe a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all over there, you know what I mean? You hear me? Y'all talking, having a good time, feeling the vibes. And then there's always a, the fat girl, the fat girl's in the background looking at you crazy. The fat girl's in the background pulling her hand. The fat girl's in the background trying to try, trying to make her, you know, her, take her attention away. And then about after 20 minutes, 30 minutes, y'all exchange numbers, but she has to go now. Why was that? Well, because the girl was hating. Because she's not happy in her life. Well, the same thing in this YouTube game, same thing in the world, period. When somebody tells you something about yourself and you're not happy with yourself and you realize it to be true, all you can have is negative energy towards that person. That's why we got a bunch of fucking dummies um, literally celebrating this man's death. Like, what's up with y'all, bruh? We don't live like that.
I don't give a fuck how much you think you hate somebody. We don't celebrate nobody's death, man. You understand me? That's not that's not where we at. And trust me, there are haters everywhere. You know, I got haters on my bruh. I got haters on my YouTube. I got somebody watching this video right now or videos prior that probably sit down with their girl. But like, look at this, look at this lame. Look at this lame dude right here. Pillow talking and shit. Cause that's how these suckers move. But listen, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. <laughs> RP Kevin Samuels, man. Uh gone but not forgotten. You definitely were a young king. Definitely a king. Earn your stripes. I think you made a difference to be honest. I think you can I think when it's all said and done, he can go down and, and probably will go down as one of those guys that, at a, in, in this time, uh, Kanye once said it, had an interview where he said if the Bible was rewritten, that he would be in it. And that's true. I mean, the Bible is nothing but a collection of stories that happened at that time. Um, well, I think Kevin Samuels has earned his, his, his passage. I think Kevin Samuels has earned his, uh, his, he might not have a whole chat. Well, he might even have a whole chapter. Who knows? He might even have a whole chapter, a whole book. Uh, please like the video. Each and every like does make a difference on the algorithms, make a difference on who sees the king speak and who doesn't. Subscribe to the kingdom, join the royal family. Uh, leave a comment, man. Are y'all sad about... Just leave RIP in the comment section, man. Anybody watching, leave RIP to Kevin Samuels, please. Um, and this has been a message brought to you by the good people over here. It's 3ENT. <sighs> it's gonna all make sense. Real soon.